Hello and welcome to the Psalm Day Daily Devotion with me, Pastor Chris Mathis from Epiphany Lutheran Church in Castle Rock, Colorado. Today our psalm is Psalm 21 and we read in the English Standard Version. To the choir master, a psalm of David. O Lord, in your strength the king rejoices, and in your salvation how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire, and have not withheld the request of his lips. For you meet him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked life of you. You gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. His glory is great through your salvation. Splendor and majesty you bestow on him. For you make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord, and through the steadfast love of the Most High he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out those who hate you. You will make them as a blazing oven when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, and their offspring from among the children of man. Though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief, they will not succeed, for you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This psalm is a psalm in which David praises God for answering his prayer to give him long life. It says, you've given him his heart's desire, have not withheld the request of his lips. He asked life of you, verse 4. You gave it to him, length of days forever and ever. Now, obviously David died. So one might wonder, how did David have length of days forever and ever? And certainly, part of the answer is that we know that all who believe and trust in Yahweh, who believe in Jesus the Messiah, will have eternal life. And in fact, David says in, at the end of Psalm 23, I shall dwell in the house of Yahweh forever and ever. But, um, it's interesting that when we look at the ultimate fulfillment of this, it is Jesus the Messiah, the King of Israel, the King Most High over all the earth. And remember that Jesus is the Davidic King. He is the one who sits on the throne of David his father forever and ever. Uh, look at the promises in 2 Samuel chapter 7. But in addition, Jesus is the firstborn of the dead. He died, but he rose and lives forevermore and can never die again, as we are told in the New Testament. And therefore, we look to King Jesus, who will ultimately destroy his enemies, and whose enemies Yahweh himself will destroy. So those who set themselves against Christ and God and his word and his church will come to an ignominious end of damnation, death, and destruction. We see that in the second half of the psalm. So for those of us who wonder sometimes um, when justice will come for those who attack the church, it will come on the last day when Christ the King comes in all of his glory. We know that he's the King from Matthew 25, verse uh, 31 and following. In that vision of the end, the judgment scene, the sheep and the goats, as it were, you can watch my sermon on that from a couple weeks ago, if you would like. But King Jesus is still on the throne, and he is in control, and he is mighty, and the Lord answers his prayers. And so we take great confidence and joy in King Jesus. Have a great day.